to find Denny, you have to go to Scotland. Then the central district. And there between Stirling and Falker is Denny. Entering the town from the south on Glasgow Road, you will see the administration building, constructed in 1932 and known locally as the Toon Hoos. This section of Glasgow Road has changed little since the 1950s. Even the petrol station has survived the passage of time. The same can't be said, however, for the main shopping area here in Stirling Street. Looking like this in the early 20th century and changing to this in the mid-50s. Denny boasts several churches, with the parish church prominently positioned in the centre of the town. This is West Park Church in Duke Street. St Alexander's Church in Stirling Street. The Baptist Church in Herbertshire Street and Denovan Church, which sadly closed its doors on Christmas Day 1988. In this holy and sleepy little town, crime is virtually unknown, apart from the odd minor incident. Classic films were shown here. Originally named the Cinema Deluxe, it opened in 1939. In later years, it was closed for several months after a fire, but reopened with the big MGM musical On the Town. The demand for cinema abated in the 60s, and it stands today as a highly successful social club. Just beyond the Denny Sports Centre is this site, once occupied by the main industry responsible for the formation and expansion of the town. Let's turn the clock back to the 1850s. Herbertshire Colliery, the station pit which closed in 1959 due to flooding and an intake of lethal gas. But coal needed transportation, and in the early days, the most efficient way was by rail. These children 
are enjoying the playground situated about a hundred meters from the town house, unaware that their swings, slides and merry-go-rounds conceal an important piece of modern history. The rail link to the colliery and other industries culminating here at the Denny Railway Station. The only part of the station remaining today is the station master's house converted into a shop. But is the demolition man waiting to remove this final remnant? This is the path the old puffer train would have taken as it left the station heading west on its two kilometre journey. was its destination and the end of the railway line, the only surviving paper mill in the town, suitably named Caron Grove. Now a popular walk from Broad Street, this used to be another rail link from the colliery to the Vale paper mill and other businesses. Dunny Pace is the neighbouring town to Denny, and the main street has seen little change since the 1930s. Although irrevocably linked with Denny, there is a definitive division by the River Carn, which clearly separates Denny from Dunny Pace. One can enjoy on this borderline bridge the innocent rivalry that once existed between the two communities. But maybe you've heard about her through the wall. Why do you not hear it? I have heard about it. I suppose you're Jenny from Denny. <laughs> oh no, I'm from Dunny Pace, Bunny Pace. Well, the cheek. Imagine that. But many years ago, Dunny Pace was the envy of Denny, since it boasted a great treasure in this location, long before the birth of these trees, stood the beautiful Herbertshire Castle. But on the night of the 20th of December, 1914, 
the castle was engulfed in a serious fire, killing three of its occupants and reducing the structure to a dangerous ruin. It was necessary to demolish the crumbling edifice in later years. Another castle still exists in the vicinity of Dene. A two-mile walk deep into the countryside will bring you to Torwood. This castle was built in 1566 by the family of Forrester and was used by Robert the Bruce and others as headquarters prior to the famous Battle of Bannockburn. The castle was vacated and neglected in later years and fell into a ruinous state. Despite its formidable appearance, no vision or ghost has ever been reported. There is, however, a modern myth that a blue bottle with mysterious powers could be hidden somewhere within its ruins. But this has never been discovered. The River Carn has survived the pollution of bygone days when it fed the paper mills and other industries. Now restored to its former beauty, the clean waters are a home to the river trout and the famous glen a great attraction for picnics and swimming in the summer months. But the river has a very interesting source, and to find it, we will have to journey several miles beyond these hills. Travelling by fast car, just beyond Caron Valley has narrowed considerably, an indication that we are very close to the source. And here it is. Caron Dam, constructed in 1935 and holding back four million 300,000 tons of water, creating a major water supply, another beauty spot for the area, and of course a haven for fishermen.
Denny has suffered the loss of its heavy industry, but new businesses are replacing the old, helping to ensure prosperity in this expanding little town in central Scotland.